Johnson. I'm Tara Yehola. Kristen, something doesn't feel right. It's Christmas time. That's better. Welcome to this week's episode of TNT. Christmas, Christmas edition. edition. As cold and flu season is among us, here are a few friendly reminders when you should stay home from school. If you have a fever of 100 degrees or higher, please do not come to school. Wait 24 hours until you are fever-free without the use of anti-fever medications before you return back. Mm -hmm. If you are vomiting, leave school or stay home until you are vomit-free for 24 hours before returning back to school. Mm -hmm. If you have symptoms of chickenpox or measles, stay home. If you have a rash and a fever, you need to go see your health care provider. If you have a cough or sore throat that starts to worsen and you develop a fever, stay home from school. <laughs> Here's this week's Italian Phrase of the Week. Hello, my name is Julie Coates and I am with foreign exchange student Fabiana. This week we have traveled to Aosta, my hometown. For Italian Phrase of the Week, what is this week's phrase? I ragazzi di NTNT augurano un buon Natale e un buon anno nuovo. TNT wants to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Tell me who told you that word. <laughs> Schwartz. Schwartz, huh? Okay. Hi, Mrs. Schwartz. Hi, yeah. Uh, do you want to know what Ralphie just said to me? What did Ralphie just say? Well, he said... Oh, no, not that! Yes, that. Do you want to know where he heard it from? I guess probably his father? No, he heard it from your son. Wh what M My son? What? Meat loaf, meat loaf, double bedded meat loaf. I hate meat loaf. Randy, how did the little piggies go? <laughs> That's right. Oink, oink. Now be a good boy and show mommy how the piggies eat. Came, it's funny came. Ah, fragile. Must be Italian. Uh, I think it says fragile. Uh. Isn't it beautiful? A little bit to the right. Right, right, left, left, right, right there. Wonderful. for making us need a jacket in the morning and shorts by noon. Thank you, Zachary Revis, for being so nice. Nice. Thank you, Miss Moore, for making us roll quarters every day. Thank you, Lincoln Riley, for leaving OU after losing Bedlam. 
Thank you, COVID, for making us use mouthwash cups in replacement of water fountains. Thank you, senior class, for finding new identities of Mr. Preston daily. Home Alone. Featuring Jacob Leslie. Hello? Yeah, mom, I'm, yeah, mom, where are you where are you at? I'm home alone right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't done nothing. Nah, I ain't looking no presents or nothing. Why am I home though? No. No, you can't. I'm quarantined? Just like the ones I used to know Where those streets up listen And children listen to hear Sleigh bells in the snow The snow oh! the night I, I am dreaming Oh, why? <laughs> How's that song go? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Here's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Cornwall High School Edition. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Dixon, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, saw it, you would even say it glowed. Then all the other reindeer used to laugh and call it. Guess this Christmas movie character. Cindy Lou Who. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Correct. Can you guess this Christmas movie character? It's Clark. Correct. Can you name this Christmas movie character? Baby? Or not baby. <laughs> not baby. No. <laughs> I was gonna do Clarice. Can you name this Christmas movie character? Charlie Brown. Correct. Can you guys name this Christmas movie character? That's Frosty, Frosty the Snowman. Snowman. Correct. Can you guess this Christmas movie character? Hmm. Rudolph. Incorrect. Kristen, I want to get hyped for tonight's basketball game. Then check out our hype video. If you just decide this day that you will never accept second place to anyone, if you do that, if you all do that, there's no one 
we cannot defeat. And there is no one that will want to challenge us ever again. Stop, watch, don't ever stop This the flow that got the block hot and super hot, ayy Give me my respect, give me my respect I just took it left like on ambidex I moved through London with the Euro steps Got a sneaker deal and I ain't break a sweat If you have anything for Christmas, what would you choose? If you have anything for Christmas, what would it be? A new pair of shoes if you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? Your shooting and Zach's vertical. Yeah. If you could have one thing for Christmas, what would it be? The house of my dreams. If you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? A couple hundred acres and a nice house. If you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? Tiny football league. If you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? New knees. If you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? A spaceship. <laughs> if you could have one thing for Christmas, what would it be? A haircut. If you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? An all expense paid trip to Hawaii. Kristen, did you go to the Christmas band concert? I did. Our students are so talented. Take a look.
wish I knew how to wrap a gift that well. Tyra, it's easy. Check out our How to Wrap a Present story. People are really excited for this Christmas season, but I'm sure some people don't know how to wrap a Christmas present properly. So here's how to wrap a Christmas present perfectly every single time. First, you are going to need wrapping paper, the good kind with the dotted lines on the back, scissors, tape, ribbon, optional, and of course the gift in question. Roll out your wrapping paper, then place the gift in the center to measure out how much wrapping paper you need. Taping the wrapping paper to the gift keeps it in place. This makes it much easier to measure how much you need. Be sure to pull it tight. Roll your wrapping paper around the gift to measure how much you need. Be sure to grip the dotted line that is just after the point where the wrapping paper overlaps where it is taped. Roll your paper back out, keeping your finger on the aforementioned line, and snip. Roll the newly snipped paper back where it was when you measured it. I was inaccurate about which line the paper overlapped itself, so I cut off too little. Go to the sides and fold down some triangles as shown. Repeat until you have two triangles on one side. Fold both triangles to the center to form one big triangle. Fold the big triangle over onto the gift. If the triangle is poking over the gift, feel free to fold it under itself to hide the edge of the triangle. Tape the triangle to the box to secure it. Repeat the triangle steps for the other side. Now it's time for the ribbon. Roll out the ribbon until there is plenty more than enough to wrap around the gift and tie a knot. More is better here. And snip. Go ahead and tie the ribbon around the box like a shoelace. Go ahead and poof the loops and adjust the ribbon until it looks nice and pretty. And you're done. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of TNT. TNT wishes you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you, See you next, next year! year.